Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with Livewire by Froggy. This is the next puzzle in the Sudoku U series, which is a series of puzzles um, from uh, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, um, Puzzles and Paradoxes class. So um, Froggy is, I'm assuming, one of their students um, who has set this fog puzzle Livewire. So um, I'm not sure if, I don't believe I've done a froggy puzzle before, so this is cool. Um, so this is the middle puzzle in the series, and I, 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 I know I keep saying it, but I absolutely love that there is a puzzles and paradoxes class being run to teach students some logical and critical thinking and problem solving skills, because learning by rote, I have found, doesn't teach me much, and critical thinking and logical thinking really does help in the workplace. Um, people who can do that are a lot more valuable than people with just a, a wide range of knowledge. Um, it's one of the things that I love doing in my job. So anyway, um, let's look at Livewire by Froggy. Not a lot I could show you on the grid, but we'll see how we go. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in, um, the every one of these three by three boxes, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. The grid is covered with fog. There is an initial light source that is clearing this fog, but placing correct digits into the grid will clear fog from all adjacent cells. So if we were to put a digit here, all of these cells would have the fog cleared and we would be able to see what's underneath them. Digits in squares must be even. So this square here, we can see there's a square in it. It's not fog, it's square. I, I couldn't reset this puzzle um, in order. I, I would have, because this kind of looks a bit weird um, to make this a slightly different setup. Um, but um, I can't reset a fog puzzle. It's just not doable because then I would see the whole grid and I wouldn't be solving it. So it's a little annoying. But um, yeah, digits in the square must be e um, even. So this will be an even digit. Uh, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, and digits may not repeat within cages. You could say, well, digits couldn't repeat in this cage, but there may be a cage down here that does something like that, which would allow for repeated digits. I don't know, there might be. Um, on green German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five, um, which is going to be important for the break-in, I'm assuming. Um, but basically, any two um, cells connected by a green line must have a difference of um, five or more. And then we've also got these beige entropic, entropic lines. I can see there's one here going into this cell. Um, any set of three digits along a beige entropic line must contain at least one low digit, one middle digit, and one high digit. Now, I don't have enough information yet to kind of explain what's going on there, but let's say, for example, I had a beige entropic line that did that. Now, what that would mean is these three digits would contain a low, a middle, and a high, and those three digits would contain a low, a middle, and a high, um, because every, any three cell, any three um, run or run of three digits along the line that you pick must contain a low, a middle, and a high. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. I think I should start in the 12 cage. Now, with a 12 cage, Right. I also need to think about the German whisper line, and this is a lot. So with a German whisper line, you can never put a five on a German whisper line. So I know there's no five in this at all, because if you put a five on a German whisper line, any five difference is either going to be 10 or higher or zero or lower, and that's not going to work. Now, these, I can't, oh, they actually could be high digits. So how does this cage get made up? So this is actually going to be tricky. If these are if these outside ones, so along the German whisper line, you are going to get alternating high low. Because once you've got a digit on a line, you can never put five. If you put a low digit, anything next to it is going to have to be at least five different. And within the rounds of one to four, there's no di two digits between one and four that are within five of each other. So the minute you have a digit from one to four, the next digit must be from six to nine. And the same is true six to nine. There is no digit within six to nine that is within five of the other digit within six to nine. So from six to nine, you must go to one to four. So you will always alternate from above five to below five, high, low, high, low. So we know that these two, because this 
this if this is high, this will be low, this will be high. These two are either both high or both low. Now, if they're both high, I was originally saying that's not possible. Oh, it's not possible. These are not both high. Why 12, 12? I was saying they could both be high. They could both be they could be six, seven. That doesn't work. Six, seven is 13. This is a 12 gauge. These are both low. They are one, two, three, four. And this is a high digit, so it's six, seven, eight, nine. Right. But this can't be one or three because it's even. It's two or four. Now, if this is four, this is nine because it's the only thing five away from four. Four and nine is automatically 13. So this is a two. Right, there we go. This is not a two. Now, we cannot put six next to two because six is only five away from a single digit, which is one. Now, these two digits have to sum to 10. I could go nine, one. I could go seven, three. I can't do six, four. So this can't be eight. Um, because these would have to sum to 10, I need to put a 2 there. So this is 7, 3, which doesn't work, because 7 and 3 are too close to each other, so this is 9 and this is 1, and I get that. That is cool. This now has to be a low digit, because it's next to a 9, so it has to be 5 away. The only digits that are 5 away from 9 are 1, 2, 3, and 4, but the 1 and 2 is already gone in the box, so this is 3 or 4. There we go. Now, this is a low digit on an entropic line. Now, if we look at this entropic line, I don't, this line must do that and it must do that. Now, you can't really branch an entropic line because if this line was to come down here, th if you think about that, then what happens with this cell? What I'm trying to think how to explain this. What happens with this cell? Because these three cells, these three would have the same property. So high, low, high. So let's try and do it with coloring. If this was A, this would be B, this would have to be C. So this would have to be yellow in order for this three run of three to work. So if this was high, low, Let's just say three states. There are three states, low, middle, and high, but I don't know which is which. So this is state yellow, this is state blue, this is state green. In order for this to work, this would be green, this would be blue, blue and this would be yellow. But because I've branched the line on this branch, I've got yellow, blue, yellow, and it doesn't work. You can never branch a line So because you end up with this state, which is not one of each. So... I had to figure a way of demonstrating that. So the line can never branch. So it can't come down or out of this in any way, shape or form. So it does that, which means along this line, we know this is low. Uh, let's be in the right mode. Now, because this is low, this is either going to be mid or high, and this is going to be mid or high. But if this is mid, let's just say green for mid and yellow for high. I don't know which one it is, but let's say this is blue. We don't know whether green is mid or green is high, and we don't know whether yellow is mid or yellow is high, but whichever one it is, this run of three digits is now missing a low. So this has to be a low, but one and two are already gone. So this becomes a three, and that's proven the shape of the line. But I did want to prove what that was. Now, we know these, whoops, there must be a mid I'm in the wrong modes. There must be a mid on this line. Well, 23 is easy. 23 is 689. It's the only way to make it. And the reason you can prove that is 24, which is 789, is the maximum three digits you can put because you can't repeat digits in a cage. I must reduce one of those digits by one. And the only digit I can reduce without causing there to be a repeat is the seven down to a six. So this becomes 689. But I know the middle digit must appear in one of those two cells. So this is not the six. Um, not sure that's helped me though, but I do know that's true. So I can get rid of the coloring on that line now. Now this has to be a high digit. Now this is seven, eight or nine. Because I can tell that this line continues down here. This line continues down here. I hate the green coloring for this. Now this is seven, eight or nine as well, because I can't make this... Oh, actually, I could make this a six, actually. This could be a six, because if this is a one, then I've got the two ones, because the only digit that is on either side of the... Um, on either side, the only digit that is five away from six is one. 
Now, this 22 cage becomes interesting. Well, there must be a 9 in a 22 cage, because if I don't put a 9 in a 22 cage, all I've got, the maximum digits I've got are 8, 7, and 6, which sum to 21. So that takes 9 out of both of those. Now, oh, that does make this a 6, because in the 22 cage, I must use an 8 or a 7, because the other digits, I think I did this in a puzzle a couple ago in, uh, earlier in this series, the other two digits must sum to 13. Now, I can't use 9, 4, because I've already used a 9 in the cage. So the only way I can make 13 is 8, 5, or 7, 6. That's the only way to make, uh, make that. So if I put the 8 in here, this becomes a 7, and this can't be 7 or 8. If I put the 7 here, this, can't, this becomes the 8, and this can't be 7 or 8. So this is the 6. That was very cool. I like that. And then this becomes the one. And now this is a low digit. Now there is no six in this anymore. So this is five, eight, nine, because I can't use six, seven, nine, because the six is gone, which means this is the seven. And this has to be a one or a two to be five away. And the one makes this the two. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Now, this entropic line continues here, but we know that this run of digits is a low, then these are a mid and a high, and this mid and a high needs to continue to a low. So this is two or three, but I'm not sure which. And this line may then continue. This six looks up saying that's not the six, so this is the six. This four looks back making that the three. And this 19 cage, Actually, the way I'm going to do it is differently. This sums to 12. 12 plus 19 is 31, plus 3 is 34. Now, the entire box, if you add all of the digits from 1 to 9, sums to 45. Please don't send me horrible emails. Yes, I know another channel calls it the secret, and you shouldn't share it with people. But I... <laughs> Please don't send me hateful emails. There are people who do, and it's just... Yeah, 12, let's do this again. 12 plus 19 is, where was I, 31, 34. These have to sum to 11. <clears throat> now, I can't use 9, 2. I can't use 8, 3. I can't use 7, 4. So these are 5, 6. And these are the digits that are left over, which is 4, 7, and 8. And if I sum 4, 7, and 8, I get to 19. So that worked well. But I know what this triple is now. Because in the row, I've used everything but 1, 2. I've used 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are 1, 2, and 7. But this can't be a 7. Oh, this is nice. Because this entropic line, um, let's undraw that, because that line is now completed. But this entropic line continues there. Now, whatever is happening here, this is a set of 3. The line may continue, but I can't go high something high that doesn't work for the entropic line this is a set of three so this can't be high which means this is low and any three run must have a low a mid and a high there's my high there's my low this must be mid four five six and it can't be six because it sees a six so this is four or five the seven here looks up saying that's not the not the seven so this becomes the seven that was just a typo but it didn't reveal anything i'm comfortable with that <clears throat> now that puts seven down here somewhere, but I'm not sure what that's doing for me yet. Now, that can be a mid, it can be a four, but it can't be a high. Oh, that's cool. Where do I put the high digit here? This can't be a high digit. It can't be low because the that would break the entropic line and it can't be high because I can't put seven, eight or nine on it. So this is low. So it's four, five or six. But it can't be 6, because there's a 6 in the row, and it can't be 5. There's a 5 in the row. That is a 4. This becomes a high digit, so it's 7, 8, or 9. Now I know what these... No, I don't know what these two are. But they're all low, because I've got the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are 1, 2, 3. The 3 here looks down saying that's not a 3. But there is a 1 in one of those two. Oh, the 2 here takes 2 out of those. So this is the 1. This is the 3. This is the 2. And now this has to be a high digit, but it can be any high digit pretty much. It can't be seven. So, oh, it can't be six either. So this is eight or nine. And the reason it can't be six is if this is a six, this is a continuation of this line. And these would have to go one, six, one, because once again, one is the only digit that is five away from six. So this is a high digit. 
Now let's undraw this entropic line, draw this one in, because this now can't, oh, this is so cool. This digit here can't be high because that would be breaking entropy and it can't be low because all the low digits are gone. So this is four, five or six. Two is in one of those two cells because the twos are being seen everywhere else. This is a low digit. Oh, there we go. This is a low digit because it has to be um, the alternating polarity, but one, two, three is already gone. That's the four. I can undraw the entropic line. This is not a four anymore. It's a five or a six. Four can only go next to nine. It's too close to eight. These are five, six, and eight to complete the, the box. This nine looks back saying that's not nine. Now, this is a, a, a high and a medium, so this has to be low. So it's one, two, or three, but it's not three because it sees a three in the column. This now, because this is a high, a medium, and a low, this is a medium and a low. This has to be high, so it's seven, eight, or nine, but it can't be nine because it sees a nine in the um uh, season nine in the column. Now this line we can see continues into this box. And again, on here, we've got a low and a high. So this has to be medium four, five, six, but it can't be four because it sees a four. So that's a five or a six. But this four looks up making this the five, the five looks down making that the six and that ends the entropic line. The six looks up saying, Keep saying in the right mode is tricky, saying this is not the six, but the five looks down making that the eight, this is not the eight. This is a five, six pair. So where is five in this box? Five can't be in those cells and five's not in any of those. That's a five. The eight looks across making that seven and I know this triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, and nine. So I know that triple. This three looks down saying that's not the three. I know these triples now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three, four, and six. There's no three in the middle. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and seven. There's no two there. There's no one there. Okay. So I've missed, I've missed a trick. This one looks up making that the two and that the one. Five in this box is in one of those two. Actually, this is a two five pair. Where do I put two and five in this box? This two five is looking up, not able to be in those. So this becomes two five. And these are now one, two, three, four, five, six, one and seven. So that's a one seven. This one makes that the seven and that the one. So I know what this pair is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a four, eight pair. And the four we revealed down there makes that the eight and that the four. This becomes a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those. And the six here looks up making that the nine and that the six. The six looks down making that the five and that the six. This is now an even digit. This is a one, two pair in the column. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are five, seven, and eight. So these are three and nine, okay? So this digit has to be important, right? Right, right, right. So, this is even, so it's two, four, six, eight. It's not two, right? Of course, it's blatantly obvious. So this green line continues in those directions. So this can't be four because both of those would have to be nine and it can't be six, both of those would have to be one. So that is just an eight. Now, eight is kind of cool because eight now needs to be surrounded by low digits, but it can't be surrounded by four because four is too close to eight. So these are one, two, and three. There's no three there because of that three, and there's no two there because of that one. This gives me a one, two pair in the row, but that seven, eight makes that seven, and I can take seven out of those. Now we've got a whisper line that is doing that. Now there's no eight here. There's no eight here.
four is in one of those. Right, hang on. No, four is in one of those by Sudoku, but I can't put four here or both of those would have to be nine. So that's not the four. There's four here looking up, taking four out of there and four out of there. Four is in one of those two. If that's four, that's nine and that doesn't work. That can't be a four because this would have to be nine. Yep, no four there. That's the four. That's very cool. And I can get rid of that. Now, I know that line continues into there. I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one as well. We can see that it goes into there and it must end. Now, these can't be low anymore. These have to be high digits because if these were... Um, Oh, yeah, this is cool. If these were low digits, I'd have one, two, three, four, five low digits in the box, and that doesn't work. I can't have five digits from one to four. So this is the low digit, one, two, three, and it's not three, meaning I've got a one, two pair in the box. That becomes the three. These are high digits, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no, they're not eight because there's an eight in the box. There's no seven there. There's a five in one of those two, which means that's the eight and that's the five. There's an eight over here somewhere. Okay, getting there slowly but surely. This three makes this the nine and this the three. There's a f oh, four right there because of Sudoku. There are four fours looking into box seven. So that just became four. There's now a triple in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are five, six, and nine, but I can't put a five there. So this is a six, nine pair. This becomes a five. The five looks up making that the two and that the five. The one, two pair makes that the seven, which means that's the two, that's the one, that's gonna do a lot, right? The two, the seven, taking seven out of there. There's no nine here. I'm actually not sure. I'll get there. I promise I'll get there. Like, this is not an eight, because I've got an eight, nine pair in the column. So there's no eight there. In fact, this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a two, seven pair. Right? There's a one in one of those two. If this is two, this becomes seven, nine. Is there a problem there? This, oh, this three looks up. There's no three there. This is a four, six pair. So this is the three. Okay. What have I missed? I've missed removing that blue. Um, that's me just looking for something to do. So in this column, three, six, eight, nine. So these are from three, six, eight, and nine. There's no three or nine there, or six. This is just an eight. The three looks up now, meaning that's not three, it's not eight, that's the nine. So that's the eight, that's the three. This becomes the six, which makes this the nine. There is no nine there. This is six or seven. The nine looks up taking nine out of there. It's still not broken that open, but this is now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and nine. And this nine makes this the one and this the nine. That makes this the two, which means this can't be a six anymore. It's too close. So that's the seven. This is the one. We know this pair. Well, let's resolve this. The one makes this two and this one. Um, this pair is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a five, six pair. The seven here looks up making that four, which makes that eight, which makes that seven. 
Um, the four looks down, making that six and that four. The six looks up, making that five and that six. The five looks down, making that nine, which I could have done with the five, eight pair, but I may have just got that. This six looks down, making this five and this six. The five looks up, making this eight and this five. Um, this two looks across, making this seven and this two. And I'll use that nine, looking up, making that eight and that nine. And that is the correct solution to um, Livewire by Froggy. That was a really nice fog puzzle. I really enjoyed the way that came out. And yeah, there's sort of zigzaggy lines that look like sort of an electrical storm. I have no idea if that's where it came from, but very, very cool. Um, needed to understand some basic entropy tricks, um, including possibly needing to understand that entropic lines cannot branch. So it couldn't branch under the fog. And even if it could, it would still need, this still would have needed to have been forced to be low and that would have revealed it. So probably didn't need to know that, but I thought it was worth explaining anyway. I really liked the way that this um, even digit revealed with this whisper line to force it to be eight, giving you this box um, or enough information about this box to be able to make the deduction and getting this three revealed. Um, actually, sort of, I was thinking, how is this going to resolve? And then the, the given threes in the corner, <laughs> another thing that I'll get complaints about, um, uh, caused that to resolve really nicely. Very, very cool puzzle. Thank you very much, Froggy, for this one. And thank you to Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards for running your class and um, getting your students to submit. I re Well, not forcing, but asking your students to submit. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.